Hey, how's it going folks? ET here. Today we're doing picture in a picture and this is the fast version. Go ahead and click new. Go ahead and click movie. And let's drag a couple pieces of media down to the timeline. We have our main clip here. And now let's go ahead and grab our second video, which we want on top in the picture. So we'll drag that and place it where we'd like it in the timeline. Let me make this a little shorter here. And now we have that second layer on top. So if we scroll through, it's replacing it. That's not what we want. We want picture in a picture. So go ahead and click on this video. Click the first icon here. Go to the drop down and change it to picture in a picture. And now you can control the size. You can move it anywhere you want. You can add borders to it. So let's add a border, change the color to yellow. You can put a drop shadow, move it around, resize it. You can add a different transition. So we have dissolve, we have zoom and we have swap. I usually do the dissolve or the zoom. I don't normally do the swap, but you can do that, which will replace the background with the foreground. So let's show you that. So it'll go from here to here and back. So it's not bad, depending on how you want your video to do, but I usually just do the zoom. So it kind of gives me a little bit of free animation here. So when you want to accept your changes, you hit the checkbox here. If you want to reset, you hit reset. You can also click anywhere outside and it'll accept all your changes. But if you want to be sure, just hit the checkbox here and that's it. You can move it around. You can shrink it all you need to. But there's one limitation in iMovie. You can only do one extra layer on top. If you need to do any more than that, you have to upgrade to Final Cut Pro, which is about $2.99 and highly worth it if you're going to be editing a lot of videos. Or if you don't want to pay, you can go get DaVinci Resolve here, which is a free pro app um, they let you download. There's a free version and a paid version, and the paid is $2.99. But um, I recommend the free has almost all the features you'll ever need um, if you don't want to pay. But going from iMovie to Final Cut Pro is a really easy transition. So I would recommend that route if you're going to be serious about video editing. That said, iMovie can do a lot. And there's some hacks that you can do multiple layers. If you check my tutorials on this channel, you'll see some of the hacks where you can do multiple picture and pictures and other things. Okay, that's it. Peace. Aloha. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.